Hey guys, Vikas here. Today we will see how to set up a LoRa Basics station with REC 831 LoRa Concentrator and a Raspberry Pi. The REC 831 is based on Semtech SX1301. The gateway will be connected to the Things Network LoRaWAN server. The LoRa Basics station is a packet forwarder that forwards data packets to a LoRaWAN network server, in this case TTN. It also takes care of any downlink. The REC 831 module receives data from LoRaWAN enabled devices configured with TTN and forwards those to the TTN server. It also forwards messages from TTN server to the desired device. The communication between REC 831 and the TTN is going to be WebSocket. The Raspberry Pi and the REC 831 module communicates over SPI port. But you don't need to worry about any connection because the REC 831 module is available as an hat for Raspberry Pi. So without further ado, let's get started. So to start with, we are going to boot up our Pi using Raspbian Lite OS. To do that, I am going to install Raspbian Lite 32-bit to SD card and then we will be booting up the Pi using that. So I just I am going to use the Raspberry Pi OS Lite and choose the disk that is connected and write. Oh sorry, before that we might need to also configure SSH and all that. So yep, I'll create my user, the required password and I don't want to configure WLAN because I'll be connecting with Ethernet but if you, yes if you are you not know, going to connect with Wi-Fi you need to configure that otherwise that is okay I think yeah save and write. Okay, now it's done. So let's insert the SD card into the Raspberry Pi and let's boot it up. Also, make sure you have attached the Rack 83 considered module to the Raspberry Pi. Okay, now the Pi is up. So let's uh, first find out the IP address of the Raspberry Pi. Over here, I'm going to use Advanced IP Scanner. You can use any tool for that matter. And my DSCP IP range is from 200 to 25. I'll be scanning on that range. Uh, yep. This is the Pi, I think, that we have connected now. So, okay, I'll use WinSCP and I have already configured this IP address. So, just use the username and password that you have set up during the you know writing phase, and I'll just be using put it. Okay, now we are connected to the cell. So, just clear, I'll do a sudo. Update. Now we'll install um, git that will help us clone the repository to the Pi. So this is the repository I'll be cloning, and I have modified this for SX1301 based. Laura when concentrator. Uh, so this is based out of work on uh, you know Semtech a basic station, and uh, yeah, so you can check that out pretty much. So this is uh, this particular repository is configured for Valena. Uh, so if you are using you know their services, you can use that, or you can check out the initial uh, you know the base repository that is Laura basic basic station that is by Semtech. Okay, being said that, let's get to the repository here and I'll just use this to clone. Okay. Now let's get into the directory and now we need to first do a build. The instructions are also available in the readme file in the repository. So do that. Uh, just copy this command and do a build here. Okay, now that is done. So 
let's just open this uh, you know uh, start.sh file and right where it press here it should be yeah this one so over here we need to get uh, the you know um, key for ttn and the version one we don't need to change if you are in different region you might need to change the ttn region so over here so let's get into things network console okay so here i have already configured a gateway but uh, need to do so you can configure or add a new gateway that basically you know you can with the owner and the gateway ui UI is basically, you know, if you're using Raspberry Pi, your MAC address. So, you know, I'll just get it in a second. I'll go with this one. Now, let's see if I can just do the same gateway twice or not. Yeah. Okay, now select the frequency plan. So um, for me, it is going to be India, 865-867 megahertz is a frequency band. And we'll, uh, for lower basic station, we're going to, you know, enable this. And I'm going to use, okay, let's do this. Okay, now, so download the LNS key. Also, you can download CUPS key, but that, that's not what we will be needing. Go here, inside TC key. open this up and this is the key that will be needing uh, so let me just copy that uh, and we need to put it in the start.sh file so here okay close and here yeah, it is there Okay, one thing is the region will be setting up, you know, while you get into the application. So, I think if you go here, yeah, so this is a one community. So, basically, you can choose it from here, the region. So, for me, it is going to be Australia. So, you know, I need to use a one. Okay. So, this is configured on TTN side. Now, let's get back to the Pi and we have copied the key we have set up the region and the, the ttn stack version so over here i have just added this slip for two minutes because when it auto starts uh, there was some error that i was getting to mitigate that i've added this i know delay basically so, and this we don't need this because i modified the balena ripple tree that's why okay ah uh, so that's done so let's try to run it to do that, I'm just going to run the start.sh file. And if, if everything goes okay, we should see the gateway is connected in TDN console. Okay, so I think we need to run with the sudo. So for that, I know I'm just going to comment this for timing and let's just do it. Yep. is fail to write to station PYD okay mm, so we are getting 403 error so let me see again yes.
um, statement one thing. Go to DN and just remove this. That might be probably happening, you know, I have to get uh, the same UI. So, okay, case. Okay, uh, let me use it or uh, run with the old API key. Let's see if that works. Oh, sorry, I just forgot. We need to enable the SPI interface. To do that, I'll just get into sudo rasp config. Go over here, go to advanced options. Uh, no, sorry. Um, okay. Interface options, SPI, and yes. Okay. Finish. We might need a restart, but let's check if it works. Okay, now now uh, you know it is connected, and let's get into the TTN console, and we should see the gateway is connected. Yep, and you can see connect gateway here, and yep, that that's basically it. And now the gateway is up and is working. I have uh, kept my you know gateway indoors. That's why it might be missing some GPS data and all that. But yeah, this is something I was not able to figure out this GPS time issue and all that. Although I have a GPS model that is connected and antennas all that. It's connected. Yeah. Okay. So now one thing we might need also need is you know we want to uh, you know have this up and running on reboot. Or start of Raspberry Pi. So I'll just come com uncomment this. And what we need to do is uh, we need to add our script to rc.local. And to do that, I'll just do this sudo nano. And oh, okay, I have that. Let's go here, just below fi, and copy the script. Okay. Uh, don't forget to have this ampersand, otherwise, you know, you might get stuck in here. So, return that. Yep, it's there. Now, we can just restart the rc.local service or you can reboot the Pi and your station should be connected. So, I, uh, that, that's all with this, and that's how you can connect Rack 831 concentrated module to the TTN uh, console or stack basically so i hope you have liked this video if so hit the thumbs up button and don't forget to subscribe to our channel for videos like this see you next time in our next video till then goodbye